All right, and welcome back everybody here on Twitch and also on YouTube for another edition of Bant Flash. This is my favorite deck right now in Standard. Uh, this is the deck that, um, if I would go and play a tournament right now, this is the deck that I'd be playing. This is the 75 I'd play. So I um, want to try this one out in some ranked queues. Don't do a whole lot of ranked queues here, uh, but we'll play a little bit of ranked. Um here with uh, some Bant Flash. So Flash is kind of uh, not the best descriptive word for the deck, um, considering we have not a whole lot of things at, uh, with Flash, but we have some. Angel of Grace, Frilled Mystic, Depose, Seal Away, Spell Pierce. Those are all instant speed cards, Settle the Wreckages as well. Um, but really what we're trying to do here um, is take advantage of these awesome planeswalkers. Like Vivian and Teferi are just ridiculously good cards, right? Like they're they're so good. And so we have a lot of early mana between Lanwar Elf and Incubation Druid to try to get Vivian Reeds and Teferi's out as early as possible. That's kind of like the, the name of the game here. Um, besides that, we use our extra mana to be able to cast really big Hydroid Crisis because that card's awesome. And whenever we have like our planeswalkers out or if we have like some mana creatures out and everything, we can uh, use Frilled Mystics to kind of uh, protect our early advantage that our mana creatures give us. Um, I've been super impressed with Deputy Detention also. So the Vivian's tick up, being able to find Counterspell or removal, you know, any permanent removal or Counterspell uh, is just really nice. So that's what we're doing here. Um, and uh, besides that, we just kind of have like some other cards to kind of just have some glue uh, that kind of fit the deck. And, of course, we have Knight of Autumn in the sideboard, which is an awesome card. Get more counter magic. Um, Lyra against the aggro decks. So, I like this deck quite a bit. So, let's do a little bit of uh, traditional rank with a band flash. I played some ranked matches the other day, and I'm, I'm at gold now. I haven't played a whole lot of ranked, so the fact that we're already at gold is pretty good, I think. I don't know. Uh... So what happened to the Gunslingers? Um, yeah, just use Todd Stevens MTG. It's just kind of easy. Just keep it everything the same. And but yeah, the Gunslingers is my Moto handle still. But I my Magic Online handle. But I just don't play Magic Online. I am playing traditional constructed. So I'm going to be doing traditional constructed ranked. There's for ranked you have. Um, there is a ranked with best of one and best of three, and we're doing the best of three ranked, because, yeah, this is certainly a, a best of three deck. For the for the other events, um, I've I've done well with this deck in the, yeah, in the, the other event queues. Um, just a, a lot of people ask to, like, want me to play ranked events, and so... Um, you know, I'm playing like one ranked thing like every day, every other day or so. Um, and so this is a deck that I was uh, feeling comfortable with throwing into the ranked for a little bit. So I can shock here and deal one damage to the opponent. We're already at 18 though. I just don't think that we need to... don't think we necessarily need to do that. Um... Breeding Pool Island. I feel like this could be... This could be... Um, yeah, the Nexus deck. The Simic Nexus deck. Which this matchup gets a lot better for us after sideboarding when we get to bring in Knight of Autumns. And... Um... And a bunch more counter spells. I'm not gonna have Frilled Mystic up yet. I think it's just really important for us to get some more mana out here. Yeah, it's kinda it's kinda hard to play Moto for how much I've played this now. Yeah. 
Do you see any difference in decks in the standard event versus standard ranked? I I don't. No. Um. Maybe if I was up at mythic or something, maybe. But so far, so far, just getting into gold, I haven't seen any difference. Alright, so they don't have any lands in hand. They did not play a land with that growth spiral. So no no lands. Alright, so they just drew one for turn. No, I don't play paper magic uh, right now because I'm you know just concentrating on being a full time streamer and everything, so I'm not not playing any paper magic right now. Discarding a sinister sabotage. Like, even though they can have a couple Nexuses and take some more turns, they don't have any payoff right now for just taking some more turns. Like, they don't have a Search for Escanta in play. You know, like, right now, like, these Nexuses are just kind of like Explorer, basically. Like, they just, you know, they just get a new card, but get a new land drop. Speaking of Search for Escanta... Yeah, this is my favorite deck right now. Hmm. Is that seven? I can't even I can't even tell how many cards they have because of that thing. Four. They have four cards. We're not going to win this game, but I like our chances games two and three. Because I think this deck is better against uh, Sultai and against Control than what the Esper is. And I think it's still good enough against Aggro. Cleansing Nova could certainly be a... a a a viable card for the sideboard. We also only had two lands that game. It's kind of rough. Um, certainly could be, but I just don't think it's necessary. All right, so let's take out Settle and Seal Away. Bring in Disdainful Stroke, Negate. Ixalan's Binding is really nice here also. Knight of Autumn. Angel of Grace comes on out, so that's 65. Take Deploy out, 63. Kind of like the rest of these. Like Deputy. See, we have a lot of ways to deal with enchantments between these Knight of Autumns, the Deputies, the Bindings, Vivian and Teferi. We have so many ways to deal with enchantments now. Um, maybe I'll just trim on Krasis. I need a Shalai and Krasis. Do I really need Shalai? Us winning games is going to be a little tough. But that's okay. Vivian's tick up isn't doing a whole lot for us. I think I like Spell Pierce. But it could certainly get to the point where, where Spell Pierce isn't doing very much. Alright, so question was, why didn't I just let Blink resolve and generate a mana for Llanowar and then counter Hydra with Mystic?
Um, I didn't want to go backwards in mana if we just let that resolve and just keep our four mana available. I don't want to just go backwards in mana. We were doing... We had such a hard time already with the mana. They're going to increase this for 8, right? Yeah. Still no, still no counter magic in my hand. So you know, no way to protect a Vivian, but we get to, we can double spell with Vivians though. There we go. I mean, is that even... I don't know if that's really that good. So they could have double counter spell. Okay, just binding the reclamations. It shows I'm just playing Young the Giant over and over. You like playing Deputy? I resolve quickly. Deputy is really good against Krasis, though. That's okay. All right. Kind of don't really need to play a Vivian. Just attacking our opponent. Um, do I want fourth Hydra Crisis over the Spell Pierce? No, we'll just keep it like this. I can certainly see the Spell Pierce just losing a lot of, um, losing a lot of, like, uh, value, though, later on into the game. Hey, Dastin, good evening. The biggest problem here is um, 
you know, Night of Autumn was my cheapest card to be able to think about double spelling and stuff like that. I'm just going to do Incubation Druid here. counter this chemistry's insight. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna keep them from drawing two cards, honestly. I'm down to three cards right now. I like them not drawing two cards. And now I have like the Frilled Mystic as like something that's a clock. Something that just attacks my opponent a little bit. How this thing goes is up to you, pal. Do they just have dive down? Oh, they have blink. Okay, whatever. Alright, so hopefully Vivian's tick up will be able to find Deputy. And hopefully we draw some counter magic also. Deputy or um, have five right now. Night of Autumn. Hey Zerf. Five owed your first constructed lead with historic Jess guy. There you go. Heck yeah. So I'm thinking, I, I guess I did just play the Frilled Mystic at the wrong time. I think I should have, you know, after playing the Knight of Autumn and getting countered, I think that that was a mistake to pass the turn and not play Binding or Vivian the next turn, either one, for Wilderness Reclamation. Um, I think I made a mistake there. I think that could certainly cost me this. It's 13 cards deeper than we are. Yeah, so I, I don't think I... I think I made that mistake there, so... I think just playing into the opponent's counter spells is what I should have should have been doing at that point. Um, because of the card advantage they have in their deck. I don't think that's a bad matchup. That's the that's the first time that I've lost that matchup, but I, I don't think I played it very well. You know, us having like the eight lands and you know no counter spells obviously makes it a lot harder, but I don't that is the first time that I've lost to that deck. To any Nexus deck. 
with this one. But I should have just just played out there the uh, the turn five. Angry man. Don't need to be angry. A bad matchup for the deck. I don't know. No, I don't think that's worth it yet. Not in, in this deck. There's certainly matchups we lose. I haven't like found any matchup that I feel is like really bad that I that I think that you know it's like yeah there is hasn't I haven't played the deck a, a ton though you know I've played like 15 20 matches at this point. Yeah, our angry man opponent. Uh, I guess not so angry. Not not a red deck. Hey, Lucas, thanks for the bits. Thanks, Lucas. Looks like we're playing the same match again. Maybe not the same match. They have Frilled Mystic deck as well. So it looks like a little bit a little bit of a different deck. Hmm. I wanted to land there and be able to crisis for four to draw two. But, you know, don't always get what we want. We just drew another crisis, so we'll just play that and cycle that one. Have that get frilled mystic. Sure, syncopate. So I want another white source and be able to double spell with the deputies. Unlike last game where we had eight lands, getting a little stuck on land here. Oh, awesome, Batman. Um, I didn't sideboard very much. I'd bring in Settle instead of Spell Pierce. And... I think I brought in... And then I brought in Disdainful Stroke instead of... Angel of Grace. That's this. That's the sideboarding that I was doing, and I liked. All right. So they chemistry's insight. I frilled Mystic it. They could have another frilled Mystic, but you know, hopefully not with those two cards. All right. Hopefully we draw a white mana source so we can have double deputy. So that if one deputy gets countered, we get to resolve the other. 
But of course, they could just have two counter spells. I'm pretty jealous of my opponent's land drops. Did not, did not counter the incubation druid, but you know, that was pretty expected. So bounce, bounce spell, of course, is not good for us, but. All right, let's try again. Try to get some get some land drops. All right, disdainful strokes certainly coming in. Spell pierce. Um, okay, that's awesome, Bezel. I'm glad your your friends playing this this band deck and really liking it too. hasn't uh, hasn't looked the best for us so far, but. Um, Let's see. If we go with this. Putting two negates over the two deploys. All right, one land drops. All right, Yud, have a wonderful night. All right, keep the four lander. Um, yeah, let's see what you got, Matthew. Esper return. Return is in like just I guess bringing stuff back from the graveyard with find finality. Getting the Twitch Prime sub in. Welcome to the stream, Jareek. Thank you so much. So that's sub number 15 on the day. So we're going to be cracking open another pack after this. Pack time. Pack time. Ooh, that's 82. Left. Nice. All right, and we're not going to play into... So, you know, last time I, I made a pretty bad play with, like, the Shalai into uh, a Frilled Mystic. You know, we didn't really know exactly that our opponent was, like, going to be, like, this Frilled Mystic deck. So now we just don't need to do that. We can just keep hitting keep hitting land drops. I think the versatility of... Yeah, so... Um, so, why, so why is... Um, so the question is, why is Deputy Detention such a good card? So the versatility of being able to hit any permanence, and really just because of Hydroicrasis. You know, Hydroicrasis is a big de big part of the metagame. And just uh, getting that for free. Wild Growth Walker is another card that's really nice to hit for free. All right, only 64 more YouTube followers to a 12 hour stream. Awesome. Oh, then, Jarek, do you have... 
It says we're at that 16 also now. Hmm. All right, I'm counting it. 16. It says Drake subbed like twice. Huh. Hmm. Go and play the frilled mystic, or play the the crisis, even though it's into a frilled mystic. Draw some more cards. I don't know, it came up twice and it said 16. I'm counting it. Yeah, my stream decker, it's only just one. one. But. Hey, what's up, Castro? Hope you're having a good Monday night. Monday night magic is what we got going on here. All right, so they ditched three cards, kept one on top. So I cannot play Vivian plus Frilled Mystic yet. So let's just play these two. That trade, you know, clear, clears up the battlefield for us to attack with these little guys again. Um, I would say not really for this Esper list. I'm not feeling it. Yeah, we have we have adapt mana or mystic. It's certainly good. to resolve Two, three, four, five. yeah we can resolve Shalai and Vivian now they they surveilled over all four cards three lands and a chemistry's insight <laughs> did you just sub one eye Yeah, I can do both. We'll play this. Kill this. Wild animals, I love. That can't help you now. Play this. Now Vivian's well protected. I know that it's set right now for for you having to be a follower to be able to talk in the Twitch chat, but I, I honestly don't know why, because my settings don't have that set up, like in my channel settings. Um, so I honestly don't know why. I know I, I moved it back, moved to a follower, like at, at one point, um, but I moved it back, and ever since moving it back recently, it still just doesn't 
it still is just follower. It doesn't I, it doesn't make much sense to me. Okay, it does not say follower only. The wilds are my shield. One, two, three, four. Hmm. If I play deputy, one, two, three, four, I can only have one frilled mystic available. That's all right. I do not want it to be follower only. Okay, there, Yager, Yager changed it. Okay, fixed. All right, thanks. Yeah, open chat can't bring in some trolls. I mean, do you... it's, it's not too hard for trolls just to hit the follow button first, though, and then do their troll thing. And then just ban them, and then whatever. Do y'all think it's better if it's not followers only? I know. I don't know if... Like, is there anybody out there that wanted to chat, but wasn't following and, like, didn't want to hit the follow button? And now are glad they get to chat now. Is that a thing? Right, I know most people that follow could chat if chat if they want, but there's is there anybody that like wanted wants to chat and everything but doesn't want to hit the follow button? That's what I was asking. You can't stop nature. So one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. I have two mana left. I could just let Vivian die. We're doing all right. Uh, I guess this is this is my favorite deck in standard here, the Bant Flash deck that we're playing. But we haven't been doing too good with this deck, though. We are 0 and 1, and we're down a game. The second one. So that's not the best. So if they attack Vivian, I can just have Shalai block and have Shalai be a 5 6, but then I don't have any Frilled Mystic available. I think that's probably worth it, though. Yeah, see, that, that's what I was saying, one eye. And some people just want to kind of come in and, and chat and stuff and maybe don't necessarily want to just immediately hit the follow button first. So that's, that's what I was kind of thinking. All right, so Shalai gets bounced, but our creatures are pretty big now. Cool. So yeah, it's been on follow only mode for a while, and I didn't I didn't know how to turn it off. Because um, like in the settings, it said it wasn't like on my screen, but it it was. But I think Matthew already just turned it off. So. All right. 
Um, three, six, no one nine, said restoration 12, was painless. Fourteen. I only have fourteen if I attack out, and they chump block. Fourteen's kind of, kind of a lot though. Looks like we're going to a game three. We have two counters up. I could have. I just could have like not attacked with the incubation druid and put them down to three and had three counters up. Sleep. Yeah, we could have tried to resolve Shalai, and but I certainly expected them to. I like. I think they had frilled Mystic up, um, so I don't like. If I played Shalai and and pumped, I wouldn't have had the mana for one counter. I couldn't Shalai and pump and have mana for a counter. But I guess maybe if I just didn't tap Druid, maybe I did. I don't know. It's later on in the night. I'm not counting everything. All right, so they are a Terramander deck. A lot of Dream Eaters. Saw a lot of Dream Eaters there. Um, don't know if I like that. Don't think I want... I mean, I would like it to binding a Dream Eater, but I don't think I want to bring it in. This has happened to us quite a bit today. That's the third time today. I think it's happened like three times total, and it's been all, all today of this like reconnect thing. No, because they'll just if I don't if I don't binding Dream Eater, they just Bounce it with Dream Eater. Yeah, no, I haven't drawn Teferi yet. I haven't played a... Or I guess I did play the Planeswalker last game. Never mind. So the game we won... I played a Planeswalker. Oh, Syncopate. Should probably play around Syncopate. Alright, not Syncopated. Did our opponent mulligan? I feel like they went down to like six, maybe. Let's see if they're on the play. No, maybe they didn't, actually. Alright, I'm just gonna... Uh, activate this Incubation Druid. So I can have enough mana to, like, Vivian and Negate. Or Shalai and Negate. The, the biggest problem is... You know... Uh, Frilled Mystic. Not able to... Counter a Frilled Mystic. With negate.
So many growth spirals. They have. So, I I haven't even missed a land drop yet. My opponent has six lands in play. They haven't even played a land for turn yet. These growth spirals are pretty nutty. Um, <laughs> uh, thanks to the little muxy. Does this resolve? Does this actually resolve? Good news is they're they're only at two cards. You know, it seems like they've played like millions of things. So Terramanda is going to be a 5-5 five five very easily. Yeah, it's best of one after Wizard. So we have like four turns before we're dead. We don't, we don't lose if our opponent has Dream Eater yet. Yeah, we kind of lose. Lose-ish. Need them to play some more lands. Just have some lands in hand. Main phase, Dream Eater, while well, I'm tapped out. All right, After Wizard donating a deck for MTG Nerd Girl, her choice to help her practice. Man, I want to resolve Vivian here, but this is just too good to be able to double spell, seal away the Terramander, and resolve Shalai. Yeah, deck for you. That is super cool. All right, so yeah, so I'm gonna t so I'll test one out. Um, now that's a that's a huge problem. Second Dream Eater. The first Dream Meteor we could kind of handle. The second Dream Meteor I don't know if we can handle anymore. Um... Oh, they're... Bounce the seal away. Bounce the seal away. Bounce seal away. So 
So in TG Nurgle, you get to tell me what day and what time slot you want me to to uh, to play it. Hmm. Oh, and two. Pretty obviously, I was going to be going oh, and two after saying that I really like the deck. Lost to a couple blue green decks. Okay, the white blue deck. Um, the white blue aggro deck. <laughs> yeah, Eaton, it's all good. Uh, no, I don't. I don't feel bad that we lost a couple matches. You know, like it's variance. Okay, the white blue aggro deck. All right, what day? What day are you going to be here to watch? And then, do you want me to play it early in the stream or late in the stream? You know, from 3 to 10 Eastern, so like noon to... Oh, you're right, T-Mux. I was just talking. Forgot about the pack. Um... Hmm. Not enough flash to carry the name. Yeah, our opponent had a lot more flash that last game. Our opponent was flashing way harder than that than us. All right, blue black control. That's a. It's good to have a mulligan with just all lands and like seal away. Ooh, Sultai. We are three for three in gro growth spiral decks. Pretty interesting. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Uh, being on the draw rough. Never get to play my spells. Please not Chemistry's Insight. Ugh. Get to draw so many cards with Chemistry's Insight. So, Sultai Nexus. All right, 4 p.m. tomorrow. Sounds good. I'll play it. I'll play it second then. So it'll be like, it'll probably be like between four and five. Um, yeah, I'll start with another deck at three. One ones. All right, so yeah, the opponent was willing to just pass turn and and everything, so I play the one ones, but you know they were able to just play the nexus still. So I don't have frilled mystic up now.
but they only got three cards. It's not many cards. I run on more ego in every deck just for this. Um, what else exiles Nexus besides Unmoored Ego and Syncopate? Uh, devi Devious Cover-Up is another thing. I do need a new chair. We were talking about that quite a bit, actually, earlier. Certainly seems like they're gonna have another Nexus. Ooh, all right, not a Nexus. They were telling me to like look into like an Aeron chair by Herman Miller. That's what I'm talking about, MTG Nerd Girl. You ought to, to message me about that. I I signed up for some stuff on um, some some like endorse some other endorsements that I'm waiting to hear back from them. So I'm I'm trying. Um. Hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six. I put you as a reference on all of them. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five. Or the like the referral, like when they're like, who referred you? And I was like, you did. Let's see. So I can seal away plus for old mystic. I guess that's what I'm just gonna be doing. Deputy is like nice. Yeah, I'd like to be able to play Deputy, but I want to be able to have Deputy and Frilled Mystic. So that means they're definitely going to be able to flip the Ascanta. No, I don't think I can beat us, can't I, either? Alright, have that saved. Hey, Mythos.
Maybe we can get them out of crises. Alright, they have infinite cards. Let's move on. Alright, so binding. Stroke negates. Right, we're going to try to do a little better job of drawing disdainful stroke and negates than we have been. We did not get to draw those like at all previously. Man, that is that is awesome. Very glad to hear that about uh, the noble chairs. Um, Twicky kid getting that gifted sub from DJ Polly B. Thanks, DJ Polly B. That is sub number seventeen on the day. And it looks like we are still at eighty-two. No, actually eighty-three. Are we doing the new Twitch Rivals thing coming up? I I won't be who day. No, I I won't be doing that unfortunately. Um So I think I'm taking out a Crasis. Maybe I don't need binding. Yeah, actually, I'm just not going to play Binding. Nah, sp Spell Pierce. Yeah, Soul Show's 83. So the, the one change I'm making from sideboarding last time is I'm taking out uh, the Spell Pierce for a Shalai. We'd certainly like to uh, be able to land a Vivian or a Teferi early where we can gain our card advantage. We haven't really been seeing those cards too much. But we got we got counter spells this time, so can't complain too much. Now we want to draw a Planeswalker. Draw a Planeswalker. If I cast Deputy here, they can just cast down it and get their Search for Escanta back. I'm going to wait till next turn where we can have the counter spell to go along with it. Or even better. We don't have to... Don't have to worry about Deputy dying. I'm not attacking. Mm. Auto tap's fine. We still have the negate available. Like incubation druid adds blue, so we're like we're all good. This is exactly where we want to be. Now, got got some pressure on them. We'll just keep building up, and we can start countering all their things. Hmm. 
Chemistry's Insight's just so good, though. Get so many cards. Yeah, today has been... Uh, the connection randomly dropping has happened a whole lot today. It's happened like four times now. Okay, so I'm glad it's not just me. I'm glad y'all are saying it's you too. Yep. Yeah, I'm glad it's not just me. That happened just a little bit ago. Don't they have to just go to discard now? So I'm a little worried about activating Incubation Druid and then my opponent just moment craving it in response. Okay, cool. So tomorrow up second, we'll be doing that. Nerd girl. I'm just going to discard again. I feel like they have cast down, they would just cast it. Okay. That's okay, we still have Negator Disdainful Stroke available. Yeah, absolutely love Night of Autumn. Final Fantasy X was really good. Yeah, I really liked Final Fantasy X a whole bunch. Loved playing the the soccer mini game. Uh, Blitzball? Yeah, Blitzball. Blitzball was so much fun. And I just spent so much time like just building up my Blitzball team. So doing, uh, playing the deputy allows me to have frilled mystic and negate. Kind of, we have to get a little fortunate with like the, like casting them both like at the same time, the same phase because the incubation druid. Um, but if I cast binding, I I can't have both of those available. I could binding using incubation druid and have the mana to have neg negate and disdainful stroke at s separate times. <laughs> yeah, the combat for for um for Final Fantasy Nine, yeah, it, it was just a lot of just auto. Um, the Final Fantasy Nine on the phone was a lot better for that, in my opinion. Um. Because now I think I'm going to deputy or binding that. Maybe I'm just giving them too much mana. Guard Disdainful Stroke. Interesting. Sorry, sorry, what I was saying was that uh, on the phone you could play at, at one and a half speed, and that made. Um, that made the combat a lot better. 
on Final Fantasy IX. So I started really liked it playing that on one and a half speed. Ice up, son. Getting that Twitch Prime sub in. Thank you so much. That gets us to 82 and 18. Where are my hype boats? I thought I already... There we go. Got to get those in the channel for the new subscriber. Thank you so much, Ice Up Sun. Um, I wouldn't be opposed to Nexus being banned. I don't I don't think it needs to be banned though, but I wouldn't be opposed to it. Hey, Ready Pinball. Getting that third month in. That's sub number 19, who's going to be number 20. Thanks, Ray Day Pinball. Gets us 19. Ooh. Love it, Zerf. Getting the foil hype in. There we go. So they're at six cards in hand still. Yeah, the hot and cold Chocobo game um, had yeah had the really good music for sure. That one on one and a half, that playing that on one and a half made it a whole lot easier. Also. You got to move so fast at like the one and a half speed and it was still like the same uh, time commitment. Um, you choose to forget that Final Fantasy VIII exists? Frasca. Oh, I'm just getting started. Frasca is kind of unbeatable here. Especially if they're just chilling with a bunch of nexuses. At least that should mean they don't have a nexus. Because otherwise they... They should cast the Nexus first and then draw two. So you'd think they would go in that order. So I'm thinking they don't have a Nexus. And they still have seven mana. Remember this. It is harder to win with this deck when you never draw a Planeswalker. That's for sure. I'm kind of relying on my... 
My planeswalkers. All right, opponent. I got nothing. So what do you got? More Vraskas? Make That's bad. Way for your captain. Thanks, LOL. Show no mercy. Take action. So much for a pl for finding a planeswalker now. Wonder if my opponent sideboarded out Nexus. Think that's possible? They don't have two mana. They didn't. They didn't keep negate available. That's good. Frasca out of here. Okay, maybe they didn't sideboard out Nexus. I don't know, they just hadn't seen any yet, and they're at, you know, not very many cards left in library. Yeah, Deputy is really great against Crisis. They only have 15 cards left in library to my 41. I've drawn a whole lot more cards than I have. So we didn't see any any Krasis or Planeswalker. Anything to draw, draw extra cards. Makes it pretty tough. All right, so went 0-3 against all uh, blue-green instant speed decks. Um, we resolved. We played a Planeswalker one time, and we won that game. Didn't win any other game. So Planeswalker kind of important. Um... But yeah, it was just kind of us having a lot of, you know, we just had like a lot of like deputies and Ixlon's bindings and stuff like that against those Nexus decks, but we didn't have any way to like gain card advantage or hit land drops. And they just kind of had Chemister's Insights that allowed them to hit a lot of land drops and gain card advantage. And then, you know, could easily fight through our one for one removal after that. Um, considering I couldn't, uh, finish the game very quickly um so that's what was going on there in those games uh the even 20 cryo being our sub for the second month in a row that means we are getting two packs to celebrate that here thanks cryo got to number 20 um, it's it's because all the angels decks cursed you. 
yeah, I mean, like, it makes, you know, like, sometimes you're going to not do so well. Um, I have been on a, a really nice win streak with this deck. Like, I had won nine, of, 9 out of 10 ranked matches before that, and, you know, so then I just lose three in a row. So that, that makes sense. Also, um, first two times I lost to a Nexus deck, but... You know, we, we would see, like, those games I would play, like, my mana creatures, but I just didn't have, like, the Planeswalker to play on turn five to, like, turn the corner kind of thing. Um, the Spell Pierce and the Deploy are my le my least favorite cards in the deck. I could certainly see changing those up and um, adding in some other things instead of those cards. I don't know exactly what I want. But those are my two least favorite cards in the deck. Um, so. So there we go. Um, let's go ahead and get a couple packs. Those were ranked games, DJ Polyb. i I'll play three ranked games there. Alright, so we're getting the rivals. And let's go with an M19 to go along with it. So we're still seeing if we can get the Storm the Vault with rivals. This will be over quickly. That's a good pack. That's one of the best cards left that I need. That's a really good pack right there. Getting the Tezzeret. Awesome pack. And Tomb Robber. I forgot that card exists. Just costs a little too much. Um, just costs a little too much there. I have I haven't uh, played that Merfolk deck again. No, that was only, the only time I, I played the Merfolk deck was just that one time. All right, so good pack there. Um, so yeah, ran into ran into some bad variants, but you know if. If you like have a deck that that you've been doing well with and you really like and you lose a few in a row, um, it's okay. You know, like that, as you can see, like what just happened here, that can certainly happen. And don't just um, after a couple matches, like you know, don't just like you know throw your deck away and think that it's just garbage and and never try to play it again or anything like that. Um, just kind of try to learn from your games of what was going on, like why were you losing. Um, and you know, like, like I was saying with with our game, like we really struggled to have card advantage without these without the planeswalkers in play, um, and so maybe that means that I need something else, some more other sources of card advantage. You know, we we weren't really playing Hydroid Crisis either because I was keeping up mana, and honestly, maybe to a fault, maybe I wasn't tapping out enough, um, especially like that game one, that other match we had Crisis, but never really played it. Um, Honestly, maybe I just wasn't attacking enough with my Incubation Druid at being a 3-5. I wasn't pressuring my opponent's life total enough, probably. I had, you know, like some mana that could have kept up besides that. So I, I think that there were some things that I could have been playing differently, even though we didn't have the Planeswalkers. Um, and that's just the kind of thing to learn. Um, that I, I don't think that without the card advantage... Um, playing against those Nexus decks, what I kind of learned here without the card advantage, I can't really sit back and allow them to just to cast a bunch of Chemister's Insights and expect my one-for-one -one removal or counter spell to be good enough because uh, they'll just get so much mana um, and cards. And when I wasn't really gaining mana or cards, I was just sitting back. I need to be pressuring them a lot more and be willing to tap out uh, to play card like Krasis and stuff like that. So there we go. All right, so that was Bant Flash. Um, didn't do well this time, but, you know, it happens. All right, I, um, if you're watching this over on YouTube, I uh, hope you hit that subscribe button, and uh, that'll be it for me today. And thanks for watching.